Hey y'all, welcome back. I picked up a few things at the Dollar Tree to, to try with sublimation and we'll see how it turns out. So this first thing was a Jot notebook. It's like a holographic kind of design. I think you can sublimate on that. I don't know, we'll see. And then I got the little whiteboard easel and I'm gonna use a piece of laminate. I've done that before, a long time ago. It turned out okay. I have a picture in my bedroom, but today I'm gonna make a little sale sign I made on Canva. And then I found this little canvas easel and I'm gonna take it off of the frame and try and put a picture of my dog on there. So um, stick around and see how it all turns out, y'all. I can't wait. This little notebook should be the easier thing to do because I don't have to do any preparations. I'm just gonna try and sublimate on it. And the sticker is even on the back, but I'm gonna take that off just, just because it says it's an easy peel. Okay, it was mostly off, okay. but, ooh, that's cute. The front is like, inside the front cover. Okay, Dollar Tree. Okay, so this is the front. I'm gonna spritz a little alcohol on a paper towel and clean it off first. I know it has fingerprints on it and whatever, so I'm just gonna clean that off. This is my name in a mushroom kind of like font. I thought it was cool. If I can find this, um, I will put it in the description of this video. I'm just gonna tape it down using some heat resistant tape here. Just kind of get it as good as you can. Or as straight as you can. Of course, I'm using HTV Rant sublimation paper because it's my favorite. So it's just, it's taped on there. I'm gonna press this at 385 degrees for 60 seconds. So let's go do it and see how it turns out. I already adjusted the pressure on my press. This is the Fancier Studio 15 by 15 heat press. I'm gonna put paper over it because I don't know what's gonna happen with this. And just in case it melts or something, I don't know. So that was a little bit of a firm pressure. Moment of truth. Okay, nothing stuck to the paper, that's a plus. Ooh, that's cute. So that definitely did work. I had a little bit too much pressure, which is why that line is kind of there, I'm sure. Oh, the paper's coming out. Ooh. I'm gonna press this for a little bit longer and see if I can get this crease out of here. Just for like 15 seconds. That was about 15 seconds to try and get the crease out. That didn't exactly work. I'm kind of trying to put the paper back into this because this is glued to keep the paper and I opened it. So uh, we're gonna let that cool off. I'm gonna put something on top of that, this piece of cork on top of it and like set it over there. This next thing's the Crafter Square Canvas and Easel. I've done a canvas before, it's been a while. So it comes off separately, I'm hold it like this. So I need to take this off of here. Oh my goodness, okay. We got that off of there, good. It's a little janky, it's a little janky. That's okay. Then I'm gonna take a laminate sheet, just like regular laminate sheet. Cut it down to size. I'm cutting it a little big.
Okay, to the heat press. I'm gonna pre-press just the canvas, just to flatten it out for like 20 seconds or something before we do the laminate. Okay, it's all flat. You might want to lint roll it, but I can't find mine, so I'm not going to. Word to the wise, make sure you do some paper on here. Okay, laminate sheet with the mat side down. I might regret this, but I think I'm gonna do it at the same time. I was gonna melt the laminate on there first because you need something for the sublimation print. I'm doing a picture of my dog to stick to, but I'm gonna try and do it at the same time. And let's just say a silent prayer, it works. 385, 60 seconds. I did not tape this down either. Ooh, it worked. It worked, y'all. Okay, we're gonna come back to this cause I'm gonna do something. That's super cute. Okay, let's come back to this. So the easel, I'm doing the laminate first. And I overdid the laminate. You can cut it off afterwards. I hope, we'll see. I'm gonna do that for like 30 seconds, I think. We'll see. See how there's extra laminate here? I'm just gonna cut that off before I put the image on there with an exacto knife. We'll wipe that down. You can do this like for a pop-up event or something. I made this in Canva and then I was hoping I could still write on it and it would be okay. We'll see. Obviously made it way too long, but the sides were right. I think the bottom would be okay. Okay, back to the heat press. I'm gonna use the same paper I had there and the same on top and do another 60 seconds. Moment of truth. Are y'all ready? Oh, it's cute. That turned out so cute. Okay, let's go put together the canvas. So I was thinking I was gonna do like a, one of those with a frame on the outside kind of situations. So, yeah, I'm gonna try that. So I'm just gonna cut it off right here. And see, this is the canvas. It is glossy, maybe you can find matte laminate, but I only had this one. You could do it and wrap it and do a picture that was bigger than mine, but I had the idea I wanted to do it like this kind of situation. I decided to hot glue it on here because I couldn't get my stapler to work. So I'm just gonna apply it on the ugly edge and then place it on top and hope for the best. Hurry up and do it before the glue dries. Hold it on here. I just have to trim off the extra. So here's how this turned out. You could paint the frame or something or stain it if you wanted to. I just didn't. And it's gonna go on this little easel here. We're back and let's see how we did, okay? The first thing I tried was this holographic notebook and the edge of the paper kind of shows through, which you can alleviate that by tearing the edge of the paper before you press something when you're doing sublimation and it helps not get that edge of the paper, but I just didn't. And then because this notebook is a glued edge, the heat unglued the paper and it started coming out of there. I don't know if you can tell, 
uh, especially like up here and it's like kind of falling out a little bit so um if you see this one i would just make sure you keep it shut maybe you could just put the this only in your heat press the spiral notebooks i've seen people do that are holographic with sublimation or glitter um they just put the cover in and i think that works real well or just put it on the edge so the glue is not gonna get hot so that was the first thing it definitely worked but yeah so the next thing this is my favorite i think the little easel here this is the whiteboard from the dollar tree and then i did a piece of laminate on it just like you would run through your laminator one side and i pressed it on there for like 30 seconds a nice firm pressure and then trimmed it off and then i did my image that i made in canva and hopefully i can still write in this little thing with the dry erase marker i don't have one around me to try it so hopefully that works and that's great for a display table at an event or maybe your live stream or something like that love that and then we have this little canvas that i did and it came with an easel from the dollar tree and i just hot glued it back on there so i did i took the canvas off the frame and then i used a piece of laminate sheet and put it on there with a picture of my dog and then instead of wrapping it back around the front i thought i would change it up and do one of those like inside out frame kind of things it probably looked better if i painted it or something but i like it anyways i would like to try another one with um it wrapped around the frame and see if i can accomplish that let me know in the comments if i should go find one and do it again all right well uh if you love all these projects let me know if you try one and if you don't know what sublimation is and you're just like i don't know where to start ryan in the description of this video i did put together a free sublimation guide it's like a beginner's guide kind of goes over what sublimation is times the temperature some different blanks that you can use that are conventional these are kind of unconventional kind of things so definitely take a look at that and get your free guide in the description of this video and of course if you are not subscribed please 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 subscribe and i will make sure to also reply to any comments that are left in the description say i subscribe say you tried something say hello i'll say hello back thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video